Hey, so welcome to another stunt rigging toolbox talk. I'm James, Action Tech. Um, as you would know, we build gold tails and we just did the last quickie on breaking them in the wrong direction, um, which is kind of like a cross gate loading. And you saw 2.28 tons, you saw where they snapped. I only put one video on because it's pretty boring. They don't just explode and shit doesn't fly. They just snap because the bobbins don't come off. Nothing lets it loose. It just sits there and kind of bends and bends and it, it it's boring. So I only put one video in. So for the next set of tests, um, we did one with the last fixture, but it tended to bend the, the rings. So I had to make a new fixture. And what we've done is we've made this, which we can put a 25 mil shackle pin through here. So it goes around the dyno shackle and pull it lengthwise. These are our bobbins mounted to our gold tail. They're just a little higher spacers than you would have um, because I need to get double the rope under it. So it's easier to weave from here because it's not on a truss. So I, I don't have open space here, I have this bar. So I've, I've raised these quite a bit higher above the plane so I can get the rope through without having to fight it. Um, as you know, we talked about it before, the bobbins into threaded aluminum need to be one and a half times the diameter of the threads um, in order to have full pullout value. And this is a 20 mil bar of alley. So technically these 12 mils are in more than deep enough, 18 mil being our, our minimum thickness, they're 20s, but I have through bolted them on the backside as well, um, put nuts on them. So they're threaded and nutted. So basically the bolts are gonna to have to break to come loose. Um, I'm doing this because pulling these to six tons on the machine, um, so far we've got one test, we've watched the rope not break, but de-jacket, um, it totally de-sheathed uh, because of the stretch differential between the 12 strand Dyneema and the polyester and Technora jacket. So we're gonna weave this again, double. Um, we're trying to get the angles better. Um, with our bobbins, they're just so bulletproof, nothing moves anywhere. So we're going to see how that all works again um, in shear, which will easily hold six tons. Um, so that's what we're going to do. That's the fixture. You'll see us set it up, and then we're going to pull some various ropes through it and see if we can get one of these to come apart, if we can. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, that's just another short episode. Enjoy. And we'll have a kind of a post-game wrap-up after we try to break shit and see if it actually did anything. All right? Take care. Hey, guys. So here's our setup. We made a new fixture to test the gold tail in lengthwise. So we've wrapped it, and we've tied it off. So it's pulling lengthwise using our mounting system on a piece of 20 mil plate instead of it being up in the air on the last things like we did. And we're pulling both here to the pin, I've got these cloved and double bite backups on them because I'm too lazy to splice in everything. So this is what I'm doing here and we'll see how this holds. Um, but we're trying to get up to, you know, six tons on this or thereabouts. Um, don't know where that's gonna go to. We'll see, last time we ripped the jacket on this rope because when it was locked tight into the gold tail, it tore the jacket at about three tons. So this time we're going to see. So here's the setup with the new fixture into the dyno. We'll set it on peak load and pull this lengthwise and see how we do. All right. We'll take up a little tension on this. We're at 3,260, 3.26 3. tons. Things are getting ugly at 5,420 tons. You can see the gold tail is starting to bend a bit. Uh, actually, yes, it's bowed quite a bit now being pulled. So here we go. Six thousand nine hundred and thirty-five, six point nine three five tons for the breaking gold tail, and the mounts held. The mounts did not break; they did not pull out, and uh, that's the result you get. Six thousand 
935 kilos. Hey gang, uh, here we are, another toolbox break session. Um, I'm adding this into what I was gonna post the other day. Um, I didn't post it because I tested my other gold tail on the new, the way we mount it for gold tail drops, um, which was firmly mounted with the bobbins pinned to a plate and we pulled it and that was 6.9, almost seven tons um, before it broke. And that was on the, because I alternate, I run this two rows and use this pretty much like a bollard and pull against all of the frame. Um, when it was mounted at both ends, the center of the frame tends to flex and uh, it, it did snap because both ends were completely bound down at almost seven tons, 6.95 tons or whatever you can watch in the video. I'm gonna put this video after that one in the same thing. So you'll be seeing it as kind of out of sequence. But um, then I thought, well, what the fuck do we get when we just hang it? So I put the biggest shackle pin I could through here, which uh, is a three quarter shackle pin. And it's a working load, four and a half ton um, shackle, uh, carbon shackle. So it's rated at five to one. Um, so, <laughs> I think that's more than enough to hold this. And what I did was I did the same thing. I wrapped it through, I came and alternated, flipped it over, alternated, and now it's on a dead head, so it's like a bollard, and it's gonna pull only against the frame and only against this pin. Um, I do have a leash on it, so it doesn't launch itself through the wall if it breaks back here, um, because I don't want it to get that far. And we're gonna see how this goes, just as a comparative. This is a you know free willy, this is just free, uh, if you hooked it with a carabiner or a shackle or whatever, this is how you might use it in some applications, though I don't use it this way because it flops around and I'm not fond of that. But if this is just gives you the ultimate, it's not locked down to anything, it's only held by one end. So this is what we're gonna break test now. Um, and it'll be the last of the very expensive boutique gold tails we break. We've done three or four of them. And at 300 euro a piece, um, because of how they're made in batches of 100, uh, it gets expensive. Not to mention the rope is like seven euro a meter. Um, and we go through quite a few meters, as we can see of this rope um, in testing. So we've, we've eaten up a good chunk of parts and I'm kind of over this, but I had to see this before I totally wrapped it up. Um, so this would be, I think, in the 12th toolbox talk. And then we'll go into something that's more entertaining. Um, we'll probably go into either ratchets cylinder theory, you know, all that good kind of shit, which gets a bit esoteric, but hey, since most people don't get it, um, we're gonna go through it, all right? Anyway, um, the next clip you'll see will be free, free gold tail pulling, peak load, and I will be standing well the fuck out of the way, because uh, if the other one got to 6.9 before it broke, I don't know what this one's gonna do. Um, probably more, because uh, it won't be bowing in the center, but we'll find out, all right? All right, take care. Hey, well, that was fucking fun. So the whiz-bang Amazon remote control didn't work on the camera the last fucking time. So the cocksucker broke a gold tail in this at an, I won't mention the number because we're gonna do it again, yet another $400 test. I mean, we use, if you're American in feet, we use 12 feet of rope every time at uh, it's seven euros, so 10, 10 bucks a meter. Um, you know, so it's 50, 60 bucks in rope. If you're European, it's about 60 euro in rope. And gold tail's 300, so it's a 360 euro pop every time we break one of these fuckers. And now we have to do a fourth one, uh, which doesn't intrigue me. Luckily, I make the fuckers, but this is why they cost what they cost, is because we do all this research, we built them, we use only the best materials. It's just, it's irritating that the $1.50 fucking remote didn't work. So anyway, we've set these up as we described, and I'm gonna turn the fuck around and make sure this time, and we're gonna break it. Then I'll do a quick mention of what both of them broke at, okay? Cool. So here we go. I'm not even gonna turn it off because I know the prick's working right now. So we're gonna leave it run. And I'm gonna get the hell out of the way. Uh, I do have to tie the... Sorry, we were so caught up, we forgot to put the leash on it, and it was good it was on last time or I would have been wearing it. So we're gonna just continue to break this fucker, and then I'll give you a quick input as to what both of them broke at.
Okay, we're up to 4,700 now. I can hear stuff starting to get ugly. And here we go. 6,395. And on this one, you'll notice it broke in the same place as the last one at the back side. Ah, you can smell the anodizing when it breaks. It makes a really shitty smell. Only you'll notice it didn't break at the drill hole. It broke right in the middle where the most force on the back of the bar was. Right here in the spine. So we shattered the aluminum. And that's at 6,395. The other one was at the high fives, just below 6,000 in the same place. Um, I may have gone faster on that one. I may have, whatever, dragged this one out. Anyway, we're around six, we're around six tons on these. Unsupported, we're over, we're at 6,300 on this one. We're at just a, a couple hundred kilos under 6,000 on the last one. Um, the reality is if I kept breaking these, they'd all break between that range. I'm not too worried about that. It didn't deform on the pin at all. If I can get it open. You'll see, against the shackle, it didn't deform the pin. It snapped clear through the actual aluminum bar, and you could smell it when it went. And that's our test. Um, it started to twist a little bit, it looks like, at the end, and that's what caused it to go. Um, anyway, glad I had the leash on it. And again, this is that Rudder twin, folks, the rope of choice, nine ton, and we've clove hitched it around the 40 mil pin, and it seems to hold quite nicely, and that's at 6,395, as compared to the bolted down version, which is 6,900. So we get about 600 more kilos when it's fully supported at both ends. Here it just breaks the anchored end, which is a single point, as opposed to the other, which is a double point in failure. So there you go. Hey folks, so that was pretty exciting. Um, we just broke one of the gold tails. We pulled it to 6.93 tons. Um, it snapped in two places, at, at the back end and the front end, both at the bolts um, where we have the gate closure. So yeah, if you wanted it to go stronger, you just don't put those bolts through it. No hole, no break. Um, but it was bending at that point anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. Um, we pulled this to 6.93 tons. So it's about seven, close, just right at seven tons. Um, you can see what's happened here. We snapped the middle portion away. You can see both ends are snapped at the bolts where the bolts go through the gates. But the most important part is you notice that all we did once it snapped was bend the stainless steel bolts the hold down apparatus is still 100% intact on both sides. In fact, this took divots into the test fixture on the 20 mil plate. But both of these holders are good to over six ton. So that's our proof on the gold tail in length pull. Um, the rope got caught on a on a sharp edge so it did take the jacket out a little bit where it broke with the sharp edge but the rope inside nothing was damaged um, and that's our test so 6.9 times we rate these at 600 kilo working load which is 10 to 1 actually it's less than 10 to 1 or more than 10 to 1 but the reality is um, you only according to the ANSI standards you only need to be three times your maximum expected load and uh, I'll tell you what, if you are thinking of seeing any kind of load over, we've never seen a load over 500 kilos with a 100 kilo person on a superhero gold tail drop. So to say these are overbuilt and strong enough is an understatement. So there you have it. The holders, the way we mount these in lateral pull is good to 6.9 tons. And they're still holding if the gold tail wouldn't have broke. The gold tail holds to 6.9 tons and snaps. Uh, where you would think it, because it's bowing so much, where you'd think it would bend or break is right where it does, which is at the bolts that go through to hold the gate, um, the gate pieces. Otherwise, you have a device that uh, will definitely hold 10 times its working load in static 
and uh, that's our test. So, you know, fuck around to find out. Just breaking more shit. Another gold tail bites the dust. All right. Take care, folks. Hey, welcome back. I'm going to do an addendum to this as a wrap up on all the gold tails since I'm done extensive, or should I rather say expensive, about two grand's worth of breaking shit. Um, by the time you calculate all the gold tails we've gone through in the in the twin runner rope, um, now it's it is what it is. It's what it costs to build shit and own shit and and be sure about shit. But uh, what we did was we did the initial tests the wrong direction, um, and we know where it broke um, with the bobbins, and we've gone through that in the video. I'm not going to repeat myself there. So the first test was complete fuck up pulling it 90 degrees against itself. And we did that. Then we put it at uh, 90 degrees again on a different fixture. Then we put it straight on a fixture with our bobbins. And we got basically seven tons out of that. Um, and it broke in two places, the front and back on them. It did not just break on one side, it broke on two sides. Um, so we had that, and then the last break, which was in line pull, but not supported. These were all supported at two ends, and this one we did was, was supported only on one side, and what we ended up with was snapping the one end off in the exact spot where it was the last hole, because it was pulling the most strain deadheaded here at the back, and we snapped it, and one we didn't get on film was basically 5,890 or 5,900, 5.9 tons. And then we did it again, just because we can. And we did this one, if the rope's still in, because I can't get the gate open to get the rope out, so fuck it. Um, we broke the same thing all over again with the, uh, with the straight pole. And it looks like it was twisting because it's loaded on both ropes. So one was probably loaded more than the other and it started to twist a little. And that broke at 6,300 and almost 6,4. Um, so the reality is they're rated at 10 times static pull breakage on these. And this is our fucking graveyard up here of gold tails and bobbin, bobbin tests. What we can bring from that whole thing is that two points supported with the gold tails is about 800 kilos stronger. Um, so you get basically seven tons and not almost a ton more. You get seven, not six. Um, because it's two points supported, the whole gold tail has to explode. Both sides have to break. Um, with it only on one side, it eventually breaks the one end closest to the mount because the other end's unsupported, it can float. Um, so using it in, in a double pin down fashion is far stronger. And we also have proven that the bobbin method is incredibly strong and it doesn't pull off the bobbins and it takes and does this to your hardware, but that's it, seven tons, six, nine. So we know they're good. And that, that's the end of our gold tail. You can always buy them from us. We make them. We do them in boutique batches. Um, cause I don't like, I mean, it can only do so many at a time cause there aren't that big of a scream out for them. Not CMC or somebody like that. Um, and the bobbins are available, the mounts, the 12 mil and depends on your, your pins. You can go 10 mil if you have different, uh, clamps to use, but we, this is all tested with the 12 mil. Um, and there's a, A2 and A4, it depends on what I can get my hands on. These were A2 stainless. Um, A4 is a little bit stronger, but I mean, the reality is it's six to seven tons. It's not making any real fucking difference because it didn't pull these out and it didn't break these. And these are just A2s. Um, so another 500 kilos on this strength of this bolt is gonna mean shit. So there you go. You know, you got the mounts, you got the gold tails, you know it's stronger, stronger to mount them in two places, horizontally, so you can work them correctly. All right, folks, thanks a lot.